government itself is in a very difficult position. You have the national organizers of the ruling party yeah. going out to say that the latest tax initiative of the government must be reversed. Now, that tells you there's a bit of a problem. Mm -hmm. The party's views about the fiscal policies and the government's view about fiscal policies are not the same. Mm -hmm. So, Nana B went out to say the VAT on electricity must be scrapped. Mm -hmm. And then we saw a story yesterday that the government has agreed to do this. Mm -hmm. So, it's more like the tail wagging the dog. Now, while we agree with Nana B, we feel like there, there's some challenge in terms of financial governance. So like this meeting, do you really think that who, who has the ultimate gravitas in government now? Is it a finance minister? Is it the vice president? Is it the president himself? Is it a governor? Because they've all come under fire. NDC has been on the governor's heels for long. Finance minister, as far as some people in parliament are concerned, persona non grata, mm -hmm. you see. The vice president too, like, we don't know where he is. He's going to speak tomorrow. He hasn't come out to say anything about the E-Levy. Mm -hmm. So who's going to rise and say, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see a central force to say, look, let me own this problem. Mm -hmm. Let me come up. Maybe it's the finance minister, I don't know. To say, look, this is the reason why we are taking all these decisions. Because the party general secretary is asking <coughs> government for a reshuffle. The national organizer says reverse the 15%. Mm. You get it? So, who is it the majority leader? We can't, I don't even know what he's saying. Mm -hmm. You get me? Where is the leadership? Who's taking charge? Is it the president himself? Or is it because he's not on, on the ballot anymore? Are the people in the vice president team on the same page as the president? Mm. What, what are we trying to achieve? Are we still stabilizing? Is the World Bank and IMF the guys telling us? I don't simply know what's going on. You get me? So even with this meeting, I'm not that optimistic because people can faffle around and just say a few things because they feel like the incentive to really push is not there. Mm -hmm. We need somebody to stand up in the government and say, look, this has to stop. Mm -hmm. And I'm not seeing anybody do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, Somebody has to rise to the occasion and say, look, these kinds of policies are hurting the people. They are destroying people's businesses and lives. Talk to Fabak. Talk to Guta. Talk to TUC. Everybody is suffering. A friend of mine went to buy a car. This is a lady. She went to get a car for a certain amount. The taxes on the car are double the cost of the car. She's asking for somebody to just buy the car off so that there's no demolish. Right? Within a period. So if we had a whole exchange rate fiasco in 2022, 2023. When the city stabilized, now you're bringing taxes to kill us. So like businesses can't have a break from this exchange rate crisis to now tax crisis. What on earth is going on? This is a government that claimed they were going from taxation to production. Where is the production? From August 2022, the composite index of economic activity has been registering negative. The composite index of economic activity puts together the total production of the economy. It's an index. It's been negative since August 2022. How is that production? Since August 2022. I, I showed the figures on my KNK show yesterday. Yeah. There's something fundamentally wrong with the way the economy is being managed. Right? Uh, the, the kinds of taxes we are being charged, it doesn't even make sense. And the tax audit. Meanwhile, you're given tax, uh, they call it, uh, what do you call it? Tax um, exemption. To the tune of 13 billion. So the amount you want to raise in taxes from you and I, you're giving the same to companies in tax exemptions. What are those companies doing for us? How many people have they employed? What's the, what's, what's the, what's the, the, what do you call it? The, 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 the what's the name? What's the benefit? The rate of return. Local companies. I got a call from a company yesterday. They are into one of the local textiles. They are bleeding. We are now even going to license foreigners to come and produce those things in Ghana. It's like, it's almost like you want to kill businesses. You are paying all kinds of taxes. You are being hounded every day with tax audits. The tax levels are rising. If I start mentioning the taxes companies have to pay, because I'm in management, I know this. It is, it, it doesn't make sense to do business in Ghana. That's what everybody's doing, buying and selling. You can't produce anything. Ask anybody producing anything in Ghana how they survive. It, 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 Sky, you, you, even, you even get it. All kinds of taxes. All kinds, direct and indirect. Hmm. Plenty. When you buy something from the, when you import something, mm -hmm. there are over 25 tax items on the thing you are importing. Meanwhile, if you said that was an import substitution strategy, why aren't you giving the tax break to those who are manufacturing? Okay. All right? Okay, they've, look, the they've, VAT rate is ostensibly 15%. You are paying 21% VAT. Do you know what 21% VAT means? How can you compete? Your interest rates are through the roof. Your exchange rate is not even that strong. How are you going to compete? Everybody's doing buying and selling. Everybody's corrupt. The economy that we are running doesn't make any sense. Somebody has to take responsibility and deal with the matters. Don't squeeze <laughs> us. It's, we are not the one who caused the problem. We didn't squander the COVID money. Why are you punishing us for your mismanagement? Why are we the ones to bear, bear, bear the brunt of this economic thing. What have we done? So people are leaving. All those guys who are going to the US and things, why do you think they are going? Talk to a businessman and how he runs his business. You, you'll be shocked. It's difficult. 
You can list all the taxes and they keep changing the calibrations. VAT, flat rate, this, energy sector levy, 30% increase, special petroleum tax, 11% increase, bust margin, increase, stabilization and recovery levy, primary distribution margin, UPPF something, E-levy, excise duty amendment, growth and stability levy, GRA. Why? Why? Are we, is it our fault? Are we the ones who did the, what, what did we do to cause the, the is it, what did we do? We didn't do the chapter. I'm sitting somewhere in my house. Mm. The money I've invested, you've taken some away. Mm. Now you are adding more taxes. COVID levy, still paying. Now financial stabilization levy, still there. Now you want to do VAT on electricity. Then now emissions levy. How do you pay an emissions levy when there's no proving market for electronic vehicles? What's the point? Emissions levy only makes sense when you have to make a choice. If you're in the US, <coughs> probably 25% or 30% of cars are EVs, if not more. So if, if you decide to buy a fossil fuel car, the punishment for that is like an emission or congestion tax. You can choose to use the N1. If you choose to use London, you pay $8 or £8. Pounds. How on earth are you charging an emissions levy for, an, for a country that doesn't have a proven EV market? How? Do you get it? It's not like I, if I had money to buy a car today, I'll have an EV to buy. I won't have any EV to buy. So why are you charging me emissions levy? For what? So anything we think about, we, we, we apply a tax to it. What kind of system is this? And you get surprised that people are struggling and leaving the country in droves? No. Somebody has to stand up and take responsibility for this economic mess. Somebody has to stand up. You know? So this meeting they are going, they're showing cheaters. Our two persons who collect it too. Mm -hmm. These two to. persons and things they are taking, we banks have. sitting there collecting. Mm -hmm. When you send money to your wallet, they take your money. For what? What work do they do to get all the money they get? Mm -hmm. Then the small money you go and earn as a plumber, you send to your momo, they are collecting e levy, mm -hmm. their banks are collecting. Why? So we, we should just be suffering for you to be chopping. Mm -hmm. No. They have to come up with some better decisions in that meeting. 